All right, YouTube, I'm going to make this as short as possible because there is no air in the shop today and it is hotter than heck and I got the fan turned off so you can hear me. So today we are going to get the, uh, the spar doubler. <laughs> We're going to get that um, riveted riveted to the spar uh, the painting is done everything's done so with that i'm just gonna like i said i'm gonna cut it short i'm not gonna talk a whole lot because i gotta turn the fan back on it's got to be at least 98 degrees inside here in this metal building uh with no yeah it, it's a hot one today and it's humid of course florida so without further ado i'm just gonna say this plane ain't gonna build itself so stay tuned and uh and see hopefully we'll get the well not hopefully we will get the spar doubler attached to the front spar uh today with rivets all right there you go youtube we've got the spar cap that's the spar cap that's these these guys here but the longer ones right got that in we got the spar doubler which is this guy and then we got the spar so we got them all all riveted in counter flush i guess there's gonna be a bracket that probably goes here or some kind of mounting point that goes here and then the two brackets which are here here i'll get those in probably tomorrow i'm gonna do something 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 pretty cool so that's why i left this open to share with you guys so that will be at a different video the next start, the next step, which I'm going to put, I got to figure out my finger. It's going to go somewhere in here. I'll get that laid out, but I went ahead and pulled the parts from the other shop. I had to trim some pieces off. So I, I trimmed those off using my just hand snips. These guys, nothing, nothing crazy, just the little snips. And then I've got to deburr them. And so I need two that have just this piece trimmed off. And then two that have both pieces trimmed off, what they look like before we trim these. Now these are highly, we gotta do some modifications here. We gotta do some bending. We're gonna do some fluting, um, which is new. And I'm not talking about music fluting, but that's what the piece looked like before. So we had to trim them. As you can see, this one here, we trimmed this piece off and then trimmed up to this hole. And I'll show that, that in the diagram. So we have two of those, there's, uh, there's eight in total. So I'm sure there's other things that we're gonna have to do, but we got these, so we gotta get these deburred. As you can imagine, there's some sharp edges. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, um, do a little bit better trimming job, but I trimmed to the, to the uh, yeah, see, I can see. So you're supposed to cut that off. So I'll, I'll get that all cleaned up here in a minute and then we'll, we'll call it a night. So. All right, so another productive day in the shop. Um, man, it's hot in here. The AC guy came by. They say the AC's working. I would never know it. It's pretty warm. I get my fingers away from the camera there. But um, yeah, so we got a lot done. Let's see if I can back up away from that light. So we got a lot done today in the shop and everything. So, um, so yeah, life is good. Life is good. Got the uh, spars riveted, which was my goal today. And I, like I said, on those uh, spar attachment brackets, I got an idea I'll share with you when I do that and, and everything and stuff. And now we're doing the in-spar ribs, the in-spar ribs, cutting them and, uh, and getting those deburred. And then they'll be the next ones to go into paint. So later on today, whoa, fun, good stuff. So we've got the in-spars and then we got the nose spars, the nose, nose tip spars, which I'm sure is coming in the next page. But, uh, you know, you learn as you're building these planes. Don't get too far ahead. You stay, stay on the pages. And so we'll get this order of operation done, and then we'll move on to the next. So once again, thanks for joining me in the shop today. And like always, may God bless you. Keep you safe and, uh, you know, be, be thinking about you and your family and, uh, and everything. I'd be... You know, it's getting rough out there as always with, with the COVID and stuff, but uh, stay safe. And, and once again, may God bless you and your family.